This is Watch Dogs Legion. We're on Xbox Series X, where the game has just been updated. We now have support for 60 FPS. That's right. Uh, when the game first was... Oh, my bad. Didn't mean to do that. When the game was first uh, released and optimized for Series X, the game just gave us the option to have ray tracing at 30 FPS, which was cool, you know, from a technology standpoint, but also a little disappointing in the fact that, you know, this being a next-gen console, it would have been cool to have 60 FPS, and now we can finally enjoy that uh, with a great level of fluidity. There's HDR support, and of course, two options. So we'll be kind of talking a little bit about both, but we're mostly focused on just showing off the 60 FPS. So what do we get? 4K resolution, best quality is 30, high quality visual assets, ray tracing. Balanced is 60 FPS, medium quality, no ray tracing. It's a little disappointing that they weren't necessarily able to give us, you know, 60 with light ray tracing. You know, kind of looking at Marvel Spider-Man as an option or kind of like, you know, basically something as an example, they were able to do that. So it's a little, a little disappointing that they couldn't hear, but yeah, the ray tracing is really neat. Just in terms of like the puddles, I think the water is not really ray traced from what I understand, it's like some sort of screen space thing, but you know, the, the puddles, the perfect uh, reflection, or perfect reflections, the uh, perfect uh, shadows, I'm trying to find something that's like really cool reflective wise, some of the cars are, and uh, you can see the windows here, so the ray tracing is just, to me that's really neat, that effect where you can see, you know, basically things through the window being reflected in it. Uh, perfectly, which is, it's just, again, just like a really fascinating sort of technology. I'm trying to find a good window that I can walk in front of and show this off here, uh, just to kind of talk about it. That's kind of not a great window. Here we go. So you can see the character perfectly reflected here. I mean, it's a little bit low resolution reflections, but that's kind of expected, but you can see perfect reflections of the world, and then when we switch back over to uh, the 60 FPS, obviously that is gone. It is still cool that they have like the reflection at all. You know, that's kind of neat how it's done. But yeah, see, so, you know, like the vehicle reflections are gone, the reflections and the puddles are gone. I'm a little disappointing because it's a cool effect. It, it really, truly is to have ray tracing. Like that is a really intense, awesome next generation feature. But uh, an open world game running at 60 is kind of like the way to go, in my opinion. It's just smooth, feels really great. It's a big improvement on the driving and just the way that you interact with the world, also like the shooting and everything like that. So we're mostly going to move around and just kind of, you know, talk about the game because I'm sure for some people this uh, update will be perhaps the first time they're seeing Watch Dogs Legion in action and uh, we'll generally want to talk about that. So 60 FPS, really smooth, feels great, uh, particularly, particularly helps with the driving. The really funny part of this one getting 60 FPS is Xbox wise you know, every other entry in the Watch Dogs series has already gotten 60 FPS due to the FPS boosting. Watch Dogs 1 and 2 now run at 60. So it's kind of great to have the trifecta, and it's just funny that the most modern, you know, kind of release in the series didn't get the same treatment uh, <laughs> right away that the others did, which is just kind of funny. But yeah, this is Watch Dogs Legion. You don't have necessarily a central like protagonist in this game. It's a game where you have a, a group of individuals that are all working and pitching in. So you've got like a bit of a, a squad, as to say, that you are working with. And you are, you know, swapping in and out, some player, like maybe a construction person is better for the job that you have at hand than another person. Maybe they can call in a drone and you can fly in and you can just finish an objective really fast from, a, from the air. Maybe somebody is a security guard and they're really powerful, or maybe somebody's good at stealth and they can hide in somewhere, you know, stuff like that. That's kind of the gist of what the characters are. It's got a, an okay story in it. Uh, but the game has also been expanded in some interesting ways because now it's not just single player, they've added a multiplayer experience where you're able to do a series of missions and objectives and you can work with others to complete them. There's some more hardcore missions, there's some more casual ones, there's some free roaming. You're able to group up with like, a few people and they've also got this insanely awesome sort of drone fighting type game which is a lot of fun uh, where you're basically doing like battle bot 
battling with the spider droids. I, I just think that one is a lot of fun. I'm trying to find, like, there's a really cool roundabout area that has a great area for, like, ray tracing. I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it there. Sorry, there's one spot that's just really, really cool for this. I think it might be... I don't know if it's Waterloo. Ah, oh, it's right here. This is it. So that's where we're headed. Because that one's got some really cool ray tracing effects there that I want to show off so you can see more of the difference between the two. But yeah, they, they added this whole multiplayer thing. This is kind of interesting and fun. You know, it gives you something to do with others. I think that's a nice addition. You know, they've been supporting the game with some updates. And now with the 60 FPS, uh, it's the perfect time to get, get in and give this a whirl. Like I said, it's also sort of story experience, but it's, it's not bad. It's kind of interesting. Uh, you got this unique uh, London setting, which is kind of fun. Uh, it's got like some polarity to it. Uh, Story-wise, it's a bit uh, a bit funny. It's got some neat... Uh, I guess your AI is kind of a neat character? I don't know. It plays into the rest of the Watch Dogs franchise as well, with some DLC coming up in the future that I'm looking forward to. I think it'll be quite interesting as it ties into kind of the first game, if that makes sense, to some. I don't want to spoil that in case you don't know about it. You'll find it to be a fun surprise. Uh, but yeah. It's kind of got like a neat world, there's a good amount of missions you can do, lots of like side activities in the world, like I mentioned there's the multiplayer to enjoy. It, it really is a fairly expansive offering at this point, and uh, with this you know next gen release here it's actually playing and handling quite smoothly, which is definitely appreciated. So I think for this one, what was cool, I feel kind of like I don't have uh, like my drone thingy for this. I don't know if this is the character that I specifically want to have for this. Missions, everybody's dead, I've killed them all. So this is my team. They've all got different abilities. She's pretty powerful, I think. Oh, that guy's got some cool stuff going on. Oh yeah, and you can kind of customize them and, and dress them up, which is sort of funny. I thought it was her was the, yeah, the drone. Okay, that's why I like this guy. But you see, you can kind of, like, get whatever sort of squad you want. And they've all got different abilities and you can constantly get new recruits in order to do different things. So the game offers, you know, quite a bit that you can do in, in terms of getting these different operatives in order to take back the city. Uh, it's definitely got a bit of a, you know, a unique take on Watch Dogs. It's, it's right in line with the rest of the series, but it's certainly a little bit different. Okay, come on, get down here. Jeez, this is what I want to get to. Just gotta jump up on this. No, I don't want to disable it. <sighs> That's not what I meant. But yeah, you know, doing combat. Oh, I feel bad because this guy's like, please don't shoot me. But yeah, the shooting and stuff feels a lot better when you can actually, well, you know, have a, the high level of fluidity to it. But as we're kind of moving around here, you know, just kind of take a look at uh, the, the world and then seeing the stuff here. And then when we pop over to the ray tracing effect, uh, you can see the difference in, you know, kind of the world and the reflections around it. I just think it's really neat to have this option. And I know this isn't necessarily something people love because it's only 30, but, you know, this is like the future of game lighting and design. It really does make like a huge difference in terms of how the world looks, the realism. It's just a shame we have to, well, we're at a point where we have to sacrifice. If that makes sense, I uh, have to give that up. I thought this point like had a really reflective, cool building. I mean, it's over here or something. I don't know. I thought there was a cool sort of area where you could see the lights kind of reflecting. Oh, maybe it's over here. You can see the things spin around in a circle. Yeah, and it kind of reflects off the glass, which is really cool. It's just that's to me, is, is a really neat effect, just in terms of, like, the quality. And then when you go back to this, obviously, it, you know, it's just, there's nothing there. It's, it's just not reflected at all. And, and that's a bit of a shame, but uh, I think we're getting closer to a point where we're probably not going to have to sacrifice it as much. You know, sometimes in this gen, but most likely next gen or mid gen refresh, we probably won't have to give up either. But just look at that. See, ray tracing. Ooh, it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. But yeah, you, you really can beat the experience of playing at um, 60 FPS. I would say, you know, if you're curious about ray tracing, to maybe give it a try in this game just to see 
you know what it looks like get a feel for it just be like oh this is this is interesting just so you understand the tech a little bit better i think it's sort of a a neat option to try and, and something a little bit uh kind of different haha <laughs> disabled but uh yeah it, it's just kind of a neat effect and I, i'm mostly like so disappointed to give it up for 60 fps but i mean fluidity wise you, you really you know can't go wrong with 60 that's for sure on this one you can see in here like the reflections of that it's so cool this is where i'm like the water apparently doesn't do like the reflection thing yeah it doesn't really seem to affect the water that much the rt anyways a uh, wide range of different places you can go different activities uh, different vehicles i'm thinking maybe i should get on a boat to drive it around just so you can see the boating action i'm trying to show off a bunch of different areas and you know kind of go over the tech and everything like that i think generally though it's a fairly solid game it's it's fun it's got some neat moments to it maybe it's not the best entry in the series but it's definitely uh, a fairly enjoyable and, and decently expansive time that i think you can uh enjoy playing and i mean if you want something like this that's uh multiplayer focused obviously we've got that as an option now you can go and you can you know basically play with others in the multiplayer which is nice you can see the the town which is quite uh quite charming and it just it feels so much better at 60 because i was doing the multiplayer you know testing for this ahead of time ubisoft invited me to do that which was cool and do a video of it which was interesting but yeah i was playing at 60 fps on pc and i was like this is crazy it feels way way better than the 30 that i'm stuck with on console and it's just almost like i guess a bit shocking that it took them so long to actually get this going here because they've said that for a while that they were going to do this update and it just seems like it you know took forever for it to finally release and, and here it is and I, I think it's uh you know just a really nice option to have available in the game and I, I think it makes a big difference uh for many you know in, in my opinion just to have that sort of choice be present uh to switch between the two which is really cool i'm trying to find another it's just an empty building in there I'm trying to find more reflective stuff to kind of you know show things off between the two see these glass things i just i love ray tracing so much because of what it does <laughs> like that's that's to me is just like so so interesting and it's such a basic thing i guess that so many people would just be like uh who cares but uh for you then you've got 60 fps right nail gun you are free And the vehicle smashing feels better and I don't know it's still like a really good looking game like it's quite gorgeous visually I think you know and then once the chaos gets going and there's like destruction stuff that's kind of fun too it does seem like hacking is maybe down a little bit in comparison to like again the original but it's sort of like that with Watch Dogs 2 right they kind of slow down on some of the features but to get a, a nice open world like this that is apparently pretty authentic to the actual area and then to have this you know sort of quality here I, I think is really exciting it's it's a good excuse to come back and you know take a look at the game if it's been a while since you've played it or if you know you've been kind of holding off for whatever reason it's never been a better time to play the game and experience it at 60 fps and actually you know kind of get out there in that open world and, and, and see what it has to offer and, and like i said it's actually got like a you know a story you can work through it's got the multiplayer content if you want to play with others uh, there's many ways you can kind of interact with this game, and it's quite expansive in terms of content. I think you'll get a good amount of like gameplay time out of it, whether you're doing the, the main story, or whether you're doing side stories, or cleaning up the city, or gathering the collectibles. So many, so many collectibles. And, uh, you know, gathering units. You can spend a lot, lot of time units, and it makes them sound so trivial, but, you know, gathering different characters to work with you. You can have whatever kind of expansive weird squad you want. You can... You know sort of select them and you know get your crew going so that you have a wide range of different operatives with different skills 
And then when you lose one because they tie or something, you can just use another one. Or you can have somebody like a lawyer or something that might be able to help out. And I think it's like a barrister, actually. But yeah, day or night, it seems like this is one charming sort of world. I wonder if the actual city backdrop changes a whole lot if you go to uh, the quality. Uh, it doesn't really, like, it's mostly just, like, reflections and shadows and stuff, but... Yeah, I think it's still a pretty fine looking game with the balanced, and I'm, I'm very happy to have this level of fluidity with it. So, uh, kind of a, I guess a bit of a bravo for them for getting this out here. Uh, it would be really cool, and I, I know it's probably not going to happen. It would be really, really cool if they were able to actually provide a 60 FPS mode that did the ray tracing as well. I mean, we have seen it with the Marvel Spider-Man of Insomniac, you know, obviously they're kind of, I guess you could say, marvels of tech, but it would be really interesting to see if they could perhaps pull that off with this one, you know? I, I, like I, I feel like it might be possible to get the best of both worlds and have some sort of, like, more dynamic thing going on, but, uh, you know, I'm just happy to have 60 FPS in, in general, I think, and I believe it's a, a big improvement to the Watch Dogs Legion experience.